For the second time this week, severe storm sent fairgoers running for cover and ducking into dry spots. Those that didn't got drenched. Our Uba Ali is at the fair right now after weathering tonight's storm. Hi there, Uba. Hey there, Amelia. When it comes to outdoor events, it's no secret that when you see people running for cover, it's never ideal. That's obviously not happening right now as people start to funnel their way out of the fair. But after three days of hunkering down, vendors are starting to feel the pinch. It's an unpleasant sight and an announcement. A large storm is approaching. Please consider taking shelter in a larger building. No one wants to hear at the state fair. Weather is a big factor for us because obviously if it's not sunny and hot, people ain't buying a hat. Instead, David Bisbee and his team were busy closing up shop again. First, it was Monday night's drenching downpour. Then it was Tuesday morning's whipping winds, tearing down signs and delaying the start of the fair. It's always hard to see those black clouds coming, but the weather has been just rough on everybody. So Monday, I think it was our worst day in eight years. And down the way at this adventure wear stand. We're down probably 25 percent this year. Thankfully, after tonight's storms, they were able to get back to business pretty quick. And the forecast is bright. But we still got hope and usually Friday, Saturday and Sunday are the biggest day. So we are hoping to make up for it. With sunny skies and large crowds with big appetites. Overall, we're still here for the people. That's what we do. That's what we love. That's what we know. Now with just four days left, a lot of people have their eyes on the sky. Fingers crossed for great weather. Expect big crowds for tomorrow's top 10 weather day. And I can't believe I'm saying this for the final weekend of the fair. Amelia. I know. All right, Uba, thank you.